On the 11th of November 2013, the Web Science Institute was launched at the University of Southampton's Nuffield Theatre. So, why an institute? The Vice-Chancellor explains. So creating institutes have been a great step forward for the university, bringing together researchers from all of the disciplines that can contribute to a particular area, like the Life Sciences or the Web Science Institute. And the Web Science Institute is a, a new umbrella organisation that pulls together all of the web science related activities that are taking place here at the university, whether that be research, education, MOOCs or the Web Observatory. Well, we're looking at anything to do with how the web and society co uh, in work together, basically, um, because the web is, only, is created by us. It was developed by an engineer, a physicist, Tim Berners-Lee, and the protocols came from him, and a lot of technical people have been involved. But actually, we put the content on. So it's society and individuals and organisations that makes the web grow. And because of the unpredictability of human behaviour, we, we can't predict what's going to happen to the web. Well, the basis for the institutes is collaboration among researchers. So they're very grassroots um, in their origins, um, in the sense that groups of researchers from different disciplines come together. The Web Science Institute works by convening and bringing together a whole range of disciplines that you need to understand and study the web. Sociology, psychology, computer science, economics, law. Without these disciplines, you can't understand the web in the round. First of all, it was a matter of trying to take very siloed and different disciplines like computing and sociology uh, with their very uh, separate um, uh, curricula, their very separate kinds of lectures and uh, uh, ways of understanding the world and trying to pull them together and make something new out of them. So for the last five years, we've been uh, trying to do that progressively, um, trying to help people get to the position where they understand something of the, the technology and the policy of the, the possibilities that the technology might create and some of the problems that it, uh, that it also unleashes and where you might find solutions. Sociology in particular brings theories and methodological approaches to help us understand how people engage with technologies and how technologies shape their lives. Um, because we seek to understand the theory and fundamental principles and to be able to predict and uh, it never be an exact science but to predict trends and to try and advise people um, what are the good things to do and what are the things to avoid I hope, I hope that our students and the results of our research programs will have a big impact on the way the web evolves and the way people use it and think about it so the orientation is primarily research in the first inst instance. So in the case of the Web Science Institute, of course, very quickly have got into a teaching programme. Today sees the launch of the first Web Science MOOC for the University of Southampton, and Hugh Davis has had quite a lot to do with it. What exactly is a MOOC? How would you characterise it? So a MOOC is a massive, open, online course. Uh, massive, we've got uh, over 10,000 people doing this course. It's open, meaning that anyone can uh, sign up for this course, uh, and it's free, uh, and it's online, and it's a course. And typically, uh, like most MOOCs, it's about six weeks long, and each week a person working on it might take three to six hours of work. The web drives our society. We're a web dependent society. So politicians, policy makers, those at the top of our corporations and public sector bodies, they need to be aware of the importance of web science. We need this now because for 20 years or so people have been studying the web from their own disciplinary perspectives, building up silos of knowledge and information. What web science is doing is drawing those together and developing some joined up thinking, which we urgently need in order to understand the challenges and risks of an increasingly web-centric world.